Another way to explain why it's less is because, because it's rolling, there has to be friction that's making it roll. So the other way to explain why its acceleration is less is because the thing that's making it accelerate, uh, sorry, let's put it this way. The thing that's making it roll is the FS. Well, the FS is causing it to accelerate less than if, there, if, than if it was a block without friction. You see? So the very force that is causing it to roll is also slowing it down, the FS. OK? So now, once you get the A, we can calculate the final velocity. And let's see if we get 6.48. OK? Uh, we can uh, calculate the final velocity using um, kinematics uh, v final squared equals v initial squared plus 2AD, and then this is 0. And then A is equal to 5 7 G sine theta. And then what is D? D is the distance that it's uh, traveling, right? Which is 3 divided by sine of theta. Right, sine of theta is uh, 3 over d. So d is 3 over sine theta. So actually, the theta and the sine theta cancel. So you're left with v final squared is equal to uh, 10, 30 divided by 7 times 9.8. And then, and then uh, take the square root of both sides, see what you get. So this is how you do the problem from a force torque perspective. You get the acceleration using the mg sine theta, and then you put that in there. And then you get, once you get the A, then you can get the V final. If it gives us the same answer, then that's perfect. It confirms uh, that there's two completely different ways of approaching the problem. Is that the same? 30 times 9.8 divided by 7 to the power of 0 0.5, 6.48. Awesome, huh? 6.48, same answer as we got using the um, energy approach. OK? So the next question then is, what is the maximum angle, given that the mu s is 0.6, what is the maximum angle for pure rolling motion? OK. The way to do that would be to say, when the object is on the verge of slipping, then fs will equal to the maximum that it can be. What is the maximum that fs can be? It's equal to uh, mu s n. The maximum that f s can be is mu s n. So then, put the fact that f s f s equals to uh, uh, what did we have there? Uh, two fifths m a, right? F s is two fifths m a. That's the general equation. In order for this object to roll the fs on it must be equal to 2 fifths ma, OK? And when it's on the verge of slipping, fs is also equal to mu sn, you see? So you set the two equal to each other, and then n is what? n is mg cos theta. So uh, you have fs is equal to two-fifths ma okay that's equal to mu s n and n is equals mg cos theta then I gotta put what the a is the acceleration of this object is what was our result five-seventh g sine theta
So I say it's an intricately woven uh, thing here. Fs equals 2 fifths ma from the result. The a that we got was 5 7 g sine theta, and mu s uh, mg cos theta, that's the normal force. So now, cancel a bunch of things here. m cancels the m, g cancels the g, 5 cancels the 5. You're left with 2 7 sine theta equals mu s cosine theta. So the, answer, the question was, given the fact that mu s is 0 0.6, what's the greatest angle that this can be before it begins to slide? It doesn't roll anymore after that angle. So then the answer is tangent theta is 7 mu s over 2. And notice the, that the equation makes sense, at least, in the sense that the greater the mu s, the greater the angle that you can tilt it. You see? This is t here's what it's telling you. If mu s is 0, if there's no friction, then what's the angle that you can tilt it so that it, this thing rolls? If this is 0, tangent of theta is 0, what's theta? Zero, right? Does that make sense? If there's no friction between the rolling object and the surface, it's telling you you can't even tilt it anything. The thing is going to slide. The minute you tilt it, the thing is going to slide down. It's not going to roll. You see? So it makes sense. The bigger the mu s, the bigger the tangent, because the tangent is an increasing function. You see? So if uh, mu s equals 0.6, as given in the problem, then theta, a uh, tangent of theta is going to be 7 times 0 0.6 divided by 2. Then you take the inverse tangent of that. So we can say this is theta max. This is the maximum angle that you can tilt that surface and still have pure rolling motion. Sixty-four point five degrees. Okay, I'll go get something here. I'll show you a demonstration of this. <clears throat> you need something else? Yeah, let's say. Uh, I can just find it quickly. Where is the, where are the spheres? Move them. Or maybe we needed it for a lab, is it on a... Yeah, just one sphere. Oh, this is a good one. Oof. So. Okay, so, uh, so basically, let's say, here's the solid sphere, same shape as we're doing in that problem. If I make the angle, in, if, if the mu s is 0 0.6, and I don't think it's 0 0.6 in this case, between a, between a solid sphere and a table, it's probably less, but it's going to.